Hey, Eldroy, Mr. Shafter back at you with a special case. Let's look at the no solution, okay? So here's a problem. You may solve it using any way you'd like, elimination or substitution. I like substitution here because, look, I've got my y isolated. Y equals. That's, that's good. Let's just do a substitution. So I'm going to take that and plug that right in for y. So this is going to be negative x plus, and I'm going to add x minus 1 equals to 2. Okay? Now, I didn't really need the parentheses here, but it's nice to have them in order to just group. Uh, negative x and positive x will cancel each other out and give you 0x. So I'm actually left with negative 1 equals 2. And you have to ask yourself, is that a true statement? Well, no. No, this is false. This is not a true statement. And when the problem is not a true statement, the answer to the system is no solution. Okay? What does that mean? That means if you go back to the system right up here, if you pick any number you want to for x and any number you want to for y, they will fail to satisfy both equations in the system. This, is, this system of equations, uh, it, it never, never actually has a value that uh, will equal each other. This is very easy to see graphically. Watch this. If I take this line and add x to both sides, do you guys see that I would have the equation y equals x plus 2, right? And if I were to graph both of these lines, uh, the top one, the top one has a y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of 1, so that's like up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, whatever. And the other line, which I'll, I'll just do in green still, is, green, is y equals x plus 2, so it's a y-intercept of 2, and then it goes up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. What we've constructed are parallel lines, parallel lines, and parallel lines never intersect. And a solution to a system of equations is where the lines intersect, and they don't intersect anywhere, so it has no solution, okay?